Hey guys, it is Carly bringing you day number 20 of my 31 days of horror and I keep trying to record this from you and I keep getting all jumbled up in what the plot of it is even though it's pretty simple to sum up but for some reason I keep rambling on so I'm just going to read the back of the cover, do it the old fashioned way for this one and that is Pet Cemetery 2 which is a film that I really enjoy as well as the first one but the reason I went with part two, of course, is because it does have a Halloween setting where the first one is just a horror movie. It's a great movie for the for around Halloween time as well. I'll probably watch the first one too, but for the sake of my reviews, I'm going with this one. So anyway, I'm just going to read the plot here. Um, after the death of his wife, veterinarian Chase Matthews and his 13-year-old son Jeff decide to move to rebuild their lives. Um, uh, Jeff is picked on by the neighborhood kids and befriends Drew Gilbert, who um, lives in fear of his cruel stepfather Gus. After Gus cold-bloodedly shoots Drew's beloved dog, the boys bury him in the local Indian burial ground, a place rumored to have powers of resurrection. When evil is awakened, the boys realize that sometimes you should just let sleeping dogs lie. So. Yeah, that's what the back of the cover says. Kind of a lengthy um, synopsis. I don't like reading the back of covers, but for some reason I could not get the proper words out, so this did the trick. But anyway, yeah, um, Pet Cemetery 2, I've only seen it one other time, and same with Pet Cemetery Part 1, I've only seen that one time before too, but I think they're both really solid movies. Uh, I believe this is directed, yes, it is directed by the same person who made part one, oddly enough, and if you watch this one and part one, you know that this one has a totally different vibe. It's more fun, more, I don't want to say lighthearted because it's like, there's still like some gross, disturbing stuff going on. Like it's the same type of premise as the first one, but it's not nearly as depressing as the first movie is. And it's very, it's um more comical as well. Things like that. It's, to me, to compare it, I would say it's kind of like what happened with Texas Chainsaw Part 1 and Part 2, where same director made them, but he went a totally different route. That's kind of what this Mary Lambert decided to do, and I know some people kind of think this movie's very cheesy, and the fact that it's not like the first one kind of annoys them, but for me, I have no problem with it whatsoever. Um, I think they're both very good movies for what they are. Uh, I have a lot of fun with this film on second watch, I think I liked it even more than the first time I watched it. It's just a great film. I think Clancy Brown does a great job as the mean stepfather. He always does a good job at playing these um sort of evil, like just mean, hard-ass type characters. And then, of course, uh, you have Edward Furlong playing the kid. I think he also does a great job. Um, pretty much all the actors do a really good job in this film. And, um, um, it's a great movie to watch around Halloween time. I really just, it kind of, it's weird because it kind of feels long, like it moves, like it keeps moving. It's not slow at all, but you can definitely feel that it's a hundred minutes. But at the same time, I don't mind that because it's a good movie. I don't know. It's just one of those weird things, but yeah. And, um, I think it's cool. It has continuity in it from the first one. They're talking about the Creed murders, of course, and, of course, the legend of the Indian, Indian burial ground bringing people back. The whole concept of this movie just creeps me out, like burying people in a place and having them come back to life after they have been dead. Like, to me, that is just really scary. Like, as much as I would love to see someone I love be alive still. I would never want them to actually come back from the dead because once you're dead, like, I just think, like, that should be it. No matter how much you miss someone, I think it's just terrifying if one day they were suddenly, like, standing right behind you or something like that. Especially in how this movie does it where they come back and they are not the same as who they were in their previous life. Uh, the gore on the pe on like um the stepfather and the dog is disturbing. Like they're bleeding and they obviously have like fatal wounds to them, and it's just it just looks really gross. 
and dirty and things like that. I really like, like that aspect to it. It's just really creepy because you can tell like they should not be walking around and living still, yet they are. So, yeah, um, that's, I really enjoy this story. I think the ending's a little cheesy with the whole mother aspect and the boy and things like that. Oh, and another thing, there's actually a death in this movie that you, I really did not see coming the first time I saw it and I forgot about it and it still shocked me the second time I saw it. So that's kind of, I kind of like that about it. Like it's kind of just comes out of nowhere. You're not expecting this character to die and then they do. Um, I really like when movies do that because it's kind of shocking, but yeah, uh, that's about all I really have to say about it. It's a fun watch for the Halloween time. Um, it's got a lot of good rewatch value behind it, as well as the first one. Um, I should have watched the first one and then this one, like do a back-to-back -back type thing, because I do like them both. And if you're looking for a movie that's more fun than the pressing, I would definitely grab this one over the first one, because that one, of course, is very um, dark and depressing while well, this one has some comedy aspects and it's just a fun ride all in all it's never slow or anything like that so yeah um i give this movie an 8 out of 10 thank you once again for joining me for day number 20 we're almost almost there 11 more days i think i got this in the bag so thank you again for joining me and i will see you guys in day number 21